Hi everybody, welcome to this video of the economy project with GPS polyester resin bar. Matt asked me to have a go at getting as many items as possible out of a block of their polyester resin bar. So we have a square block here, approximately 110mm square by around 35mm thick. This is their standard polyester bar. In the lathe, I have my Nova Coal jaws ready to go. As I see, this is the easiest way to mount this. Just marking out some of the uh, starting rings that I plan to get from this. Now we're heading in with uh, Robert Sorby thin parting tool. Just working down as deep as we can, heading for about halfway through the block. Flipped it round after getting as far as possible from one side. Quick mark out of where the uh, where the rings were. Now we're going to head back through and release the blocks from the lathe. They come out surprisingly easily. And they just drop forward. So you'll see in just a second. There you go. Switch the lathe off. Now she comes. Repeat and repeat again. Now we're taking the uh, third core out. Now with the outer one, I just went to the uh, went to the lathe quickly and cut the corners off. So I'm just going to show you the full process on one of the rings. Um, we'll go through the other other items that I make from this as well. Um, but the rings are all the same process. So just using um, this is the Robert Sorby half inch ball nose scraper. Um, I have modified it slightly, put a reg negative rake on there and swept it around a little bit further on the left hand side just to make it a little bit more user friendly to my techniques. Just uh, feeding that shape in. Now just coming in with a, with a 3 8 uh, gouge just on the edge. Just using it as a scraper just to get in closer to the, um, to the rubber jaw bits. Go through the finishing process on this. So just work through the grits from 120 to about 320 grit of Abronet. I find this the best paper for the um, for the resin. Going in with some Yorkshire grit, standard to start with. Um, this this gives a really really good polish actually on the um, on the polyester resin. Then with the uh, microfine, just to get a real glossy finish. And turn it round, and then we'll just do the final shaping on the other side of the of the ring. I think I'm going to class this one as more of an anklet. Um, it's a it's a little bit big to be a bracelet. <laughs> Final shaping on the outside there. Just getting this to where it needs to be. And final touches with the gouge. I think this is the only one I used the gouge on really. Uh, it was just because I did a little convex shape in the in the width of it, um, which you can't really get the scraper in so close to the um, to the rubber jaws. Then back round with Yorkshire grit. Work that in. Just see a, <laughs> a little moment there. Just pushing a little bit too hard while polishing. And out it comes from the jaws. So, but never mind, it landed in a nice big pile of shavings. So we put it put it back in and finish the polishing. Oh, 
and there we have it so we've got um got one anklet two medium sized bracelets and a small bracelet out of the rings um, did lose one little bracelet unfortunately when splitting the ring it rolled off and snapped up um, one uh, one got a odd shaping from being clamped in the um, Novacol jaws actually uh, looks a bit different but I quite like the uh, final result then from the centre core so we've now popped it in the um, Robert Sorby Patriot chuck um, just establishing a couple of tenons on it quickly just so hold both ends and here we go in with the slim parting tool just splitting it down about two thirds of the way up so that we can make a little trinket box and we've got the lid end left in the lathe just using that ball nose scraper just to take out the inside of the lid give it a nice little smooth shape and then in with a normal parting tool just to put a square mortise in finish off the lips and a quick polish with Yorkshire grit really does really does work really well on this um, resin on both the polyester and the acrylic only just actually discovered the joys of Yorkshire grit here I'm just fitting up for a nice jam fit to fit the lid to the um, base of the box so that we can shape the uh, outer edge at the top of it there we go, it's nice and tightly on there, tail stock up just for a little bit of added support. Just, it's just so there's no chance of it sort of running away. Get that out of the way. Shape the lid, give it a nice swooping shape. After we polish that, we'll just remove the inside of the bottom. Uh, give it a nice smooth shape in there. And this could be used for catch, keeping little rings in, or trinkets, any any little item like that. Or another good use of these little pots is for um, for the ladies to to cant some of their lovely hand cream into. Uh, it's a bit more stylish than keeping the um, sometimes quite dull little pots they come in around uh, just for a scrap of wood in the jaws here making up a jam chuck to hold the bottom half so we can shape around the bottom remove the dovetail tenon finish up the pot nicely Uh, just um, putting a bit of relief into the bottom of the pot so it gives it a foot and then a nice little polish up with Yorkshire grit just to finish it off there you have it a little finished trinket pot keeping Keeping oddities in. Now on to the final bit. So, out of the um, just to just to try and get as much as possible out of this, really, um, the four corners of the block that I took off near the beginning, I thought, well, we might as well try and get some rings out of them. So, chucked my um, little tapered dowel in that I've done for making rings and stuff um, wedge, wedge, wedge fit them on there 
and just shake down with a skew quickly. Uh, works really well. Give them a little polish. And then you have a couple of, couple of quick little rings. So we've got four of those. And there we have it. A bit of a tidy up. Workshop looking a little bit clearer again. And here's our lot from the uh, single block of resin. Uh, I think we did quite well for one piece. Little trinket pot. The anklet, a few bracelets, and some rings. Um, this really was quite good fun. Um, it's quite a bright piece of resin. It's quite different. And the great thing with the polyester resin is it is completely child friendly as well. So if your kids get hold of these, they can chew them and whatever. And there's there's no toxic nature to the um, to the resin either which is really good. So I want to thank everyone for watching. Hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Here's a quick still of, um, of the pieces. And um, really hope you can join me again sometime. Thank you.